Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we'll see part 19 of ServiceNow developer interview question and answer series. So without any delay, let's go to the first question. So the first question is, what is the difference between on before and on start transform script? So on start transform script runs when the transform map is first loaded, means it executes at the start of an import set before any rows are read while on before transform script runs when our row transform happens means it executes at the start of row transformation and before the row is transformed into the target row it's like before transformation into the target table this on before transform event script will run okay now move to the next question. Next question is what are the different types of reference qualifier available in ServiceNow? So basically there are three types of reference qualifier is available. The one is simple, second one is dynamic and third one is advanced. In simple we have like a condition builder. In dynamic one we will write some encoded query. Okay, so we will use some dynamic field and third one is advanced ones. So here if you want to call any script include or like any complex logic you want to implement that we are writing under advanced. So if you want to know in the detail, you just refer the service now docs. Okay. Now to now move to the next question. So the next question is, can you please tell few transform script variables name? So maybe this question will ask like a transform script variable names or maybe they will ask what are the different objects are available in transform script so you can tell the answer like these are are available so if you give the name of four to five that that will be fine like first one is source then target map log action ignore error 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 underscore message status underscore message so i've just given the name and still again if you want to know in the detail like what exactly the use of that so you can refer the service now docs or you can check in a community as well okay so now we are moving to the next question so the next question is what is the difference between uri and uri underscore ref so uri shows the word link and while uri underscore ref shows the display value of the record as the link test so let's say like if you are using uri so it will come as a link but the word link will come Okay, link itself come and that that will be clickable. And if you are using u u a uh, uri underscore rev, so the link clickable link will come and the display value will uh, so. So if you want to know in the detail, so I have created a separate video for that. So I'll give the link in the description so you can watch it. So then it it will be crystal clear for you. Okay please do watch that video so it so it will be clear okay Other, otherwise you will you will get confused like what i'm trying to convey okay so now we are moving to the next question next question is can we delete base tables so the answer is no we cannot delete the base tables and if any base table is missing from system so it will get recreated when the instance is upgraded okay so now we are moving to the next question. Next question is what is the purpose of rule base in order guys or order guide. So rule base defines condition that must be met for a specific item to be included in an order guide. So basically it's a like a, a rule, rule, rule base in rule base we are specifying some condition and based upon those condition we have to decide like which of the catalog item we have to include it. So in the next line I have written same like the main purpose of rule base is to add the catalog item based upon some rules. Okay. So in the last video I have asked about what is an import set. So import set is a tool we use to import data from various data sources and then using transform map map that data into service now table and the import set table are act as a staging table for records imported so in other words 
otherwise we can also say that like import set is an act as a temporary table or a staging table where the data is firstly stored when we are uh, when we are loading from the external sources okay so let's say if you are uh, uploading any uh, uploading the data from excel sheet or like any other external third party app so firstly it will get before transformation it will get stored in the import set table and then we can transform into the target table okay so that today's video question is what is the use of sysper underscore name in glide ajax so if you know the syntax of glide ajax so there we are using the sysper underscore name so what is the exact use of that okay so that if you know the answer please write in the comment box and i'll give the answer in the next video till that time thank you god bless you all